Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and host for Resurrect the Republic Truth radio broadcast on RBN Network. I first want to say that I have missed you all very much. I am now back available to be able to uh, report to you and uh, I look forward to doing so. I want to address all of these quote-unquote grassroots protests, these riots, not protests, um, anyone who is falling into the mainstream media trap that it has to do with racism or anyone who has uh, the idea because of the mainstream media lies that this is a grassroots issue is absolutely delusional and I'm going to prove this to you uh, so that you can share this with others and um, I think it is extremely important that people realize this is a Soros funded um, situation because the globalists are in complete and full-fledged panic mode. Um, why are they in full-fledged panic mode? Because everything they have worked so hard for literally um, beginning even as far back as 1913 is getting ready to be taken down. Now they have a huge spider web of things that are going on uh, and have been going on for many many years. So what you need to know is the globalists are in complete meltdown and panic mode because everything that they have worked for for literally hundreds of years is falling apart before their eyes. Their loss of control um, this does not just affect the United States of America. This affects their global control around the globe. Many foreign leaders have come out. They're very happy that Donald Trump has been elected. And because they have seen and they know that this globalist agenda has destroyed uh, their nations, has caused millions of deaths, and they want it to stop. So as I've reported before, whether it be on the IMF and the different individual things, I have reported that they are in panic mode. They are not all powerful like they want to have you believe that they are. Thus, they, of course, uh, congratulations to President-elect Donald Trump and the American people because this is a victory for the American people and the individuals who uh, want to get the criminal elite out of ruling over people's lives and stealing from people and causing massive death around the globe. So congratulations to the people because it's not about Donald Trump. It's about the people. It's about the people not only here in the United States of America, but it is also about the people and humanity all around the globe in which... Uh, there is going to be a massive change. I perceive a massive change coming to where the globalists are not going to be able to be so easy to murder and uh, take over other people's countries. And they're not going to be supporting terrorism in the manner that they have been supporting terrorism and expanding the Muslim Brotherhood intentionally in order to gain their new international order. So I'm going to address these quote unquote protests, which are actually riots. We know this. And they've been pulling this mess uh, for years. The police for years on different occasions, whether it be Ferguson or or um, other individuals like uh, on individual places like Detroit um, were ordered to stand down and, and just let them burn down the streets and destroy property well that is getting ready to come to an end even though you see it right now and you don't hear the uh, quote unquote President Obama speaking out and telling them to stop well of course you're not going to he is very much involved with moveon.org and why is moveon.org such an um, uh, part of this conversation because moveon.org is behind these protests is funded by George Soros and moveon.org is not grassroots as they would like you to believe and I'm going to prove that in just a moment so first of all we're going to hear a little bit from Megyn Kelly okay so before I 
uh, give you the proof that you need in order to be able to share this information with everybody else. I'm going to play a small clip from Meg and Kelly. Um, it is something that she is speaking about. Donald Trump tweeted out, and he is exactly right, and I'm getting ready to prove that. Um, the mainstream media wants the people to panic, so does MoveOn.org, because they want you to be ruled by fear and by lies, which they have shown time and time again. And mainstream media has been uh, outed as as not journalists, but propagandists and liars, flat out liars. So here is a word from Megyn Kelly uh, on this clip, and then I will go into the proof that you need in order to be able to show you that this is not grassroots. This is George Soros all over. The globalists are throwing a fit. They have to figure out how to regain control because their spider web of manipulation has been overcome by the American people. Like I said, this is not about Donald Trump per se. This is about the American people. This fight that was won was the American people against the global elite. It has nothing to do with uh, race or color or beliefs or, or anything like that when it comes to um, the crap that the mainstream media is spewing. It has everything to do with the globalists have just lost their manipulative power over the people. The veil has been rent and God has opened the eyes of millions. Let's listen. At night, unrest in cities across the country as protesters take to the streets to vent their frustrations after Tuesday night's election uh, did not apparently go the way they wanted. President-elect Trump taking notice and taking to Twitter. Minutes ago, tweeting this out in response. Just had a very open and successful presidential election. Now, professional protesters incited by the media are protesting. Very unfair. Okay, that's all I'm going to leave of this video, of this clip of this video. I will put the actual full um, link in the description box below. So now, how does, is, is that accurate? Or is or as mainstream media will try to spin it, that Donald Trump's just a nut job. Well, is he really? No, he is not. And I'm going to show you why I say that. I'm going to provide for you the proof. Uh, the wonderful thing about MoveOn.org is you can sign up to receive their emails. And unfortunately for them, I did that a long time ago because this lets me know what they have planned. So I'm going to share with you an email. Okay, so just to let you know why this right here looks so different than in a regular email inbox, what I did was I hit it to where I could print it off so that you would be able to see it better. That is the only reason. However, this was sent to me November the 9th, 2016 at 2.36 p.m. As you can see right here, right here is my email address. You can clearly see who was it sent to me by. It was sent to me by Anda Gillian from MoveOn.org Political Action. MoveOn Help at MoveOn.org. So if I want to reply to this, which I do not, I uh, just simply will use that. So this is the email in which they sent me. Dear MoveOn member, this is a disaster. We fought our hearts out to avert this reality, but now it's here. The new president-elect and many of his most prominent supporters have targeted, demeaned, and threatened millions of us and millions of our friends, family, and loved ones. Both chambers of Congress remain in Republican hands. We are entering an era of profound and unprecedented challenge, a time of danger for our communities and our country. In this moment, we have to take care of ourselves, our families, and our friends, especially those of us who are on the front lines facing hate, including Latinos, women, immigrants, refugees, black people, Muslims, LGBT Americans, and so many others. We need to make it clear that we will stand together. People around the country are coming together tonight to hold peaceful gatherings to signal our solidarity, resistance, and resolve. These are simple, straightforward, grassroots events from coast to coast. 
can you host one tonight in Springfield? Well, we'll invite Move On members later this afternoon to sign up for events, but someone needs to step up and serve as the host for folks in their area. Click here to sign up to host an event tonight. Click here to find events near you. Events are being added throughout the day. We recommend that you check for one right now and again after 4 p.m. local time. If you don't see an event near you, it means that nobody has signed up to host one yet. Will you sign up to host? In the days to come, we will have to pick ourselves up and fight for America's better ideals. We've known the vast darkness before. Each time brave Americans have risen to the challenge, this time must be no different. The Move On community and our allies will continue to work tirelessly to resist Trump's agenda, contain the damage, defeat hate with love, and begin the process of swinging the nation's pendulum back towards sanity, decency, and the kind of future that we must never give up on. If you are afraid, know that you are not alone because we stand together. If you feel despair, know that things will change because we will change them together. More than 250 million Americans did not choose Trump. In fact, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. The millions of us Move On members and allies who spent countless hours knocking on doors, making phone calls, and defending democracy can be proud of what we did together. We need to take time to process how this happened, what it means, what kind of country we now live in. One way to start that process is by gathering together tonight. We are hosting gatherings tonight for those of us who want to be surrounded by friends, neighbors, and others who share our shock, grief, and resolve. Can you host one in Springfield? If you do, we'll help spread the word. Click here to sign up to host an event tonight. Click here to look up events near you. If you don't see an event near you right now, you can check later in the day or sign up to host your own. Together we will fight to keep our light and resolve alive, sustain our gratitude for each other, and stand unwavering in our conviction that we will never ever give up. Thanks for all that you have done and all that you do in the times ahead. Anna, Joe, Manny, Mark, and the rest of the team. And of course it was paid for by MoveOn.org Political Action. So now let's dissect what this means. What this means is the globalists are in full panic mode. They are in full panic mode. They are creating and stirring up fear amongst people by sending emails out just like this to create fear in order to establish an agenda and hope for the riots. And as you can see, they admit that if, if I were to be kind enough to sign up to host it, well heck, they'll even send out people to help me host this event. Well, moveon.org, I want to thank you for sending me this email and letting me know exactly what your plans are. However, um, and I do uh, accept your thanks for everything that I have done for our union and for our people. However, um, no, I will not be helping you to create riots. I will not be helping you to promote globalism. I will not help you to um, create chaos in the streets, but I will help to expose you with the own information that you send to me. And with that said, thank you. God bless you. Please share this message so individuals know that this is not grassroots. It is completely planned. It is nothing more than the globalist in full panic mode because they realize that their regime of complete control over the whole of the people has now been trumped. And it hasn't been trumped by one man. The people of this union have spoken and they've spoken out and they defeated the globalist even with all the manipulations in the election and the voter fraud 
and the mass of things that are going down. Please do not fall for the trick of going along with their violence. And if you are getting paid by Move On to be escorted into these places, um, you may want to think twice because I would not be surprised if these individuals who are accepting pay, if you get caught, then I would not be surprised once President Trump does get into office that uh, individuals may be charged with conspiracy because you are accepting money to create domestic terrorism and scare the heck out of individuals and hopefully um, maybe moveon.org will be uh, one of the subjects of investigation as well as Mr. Soros maybe there will be some handcuffs for you in the very near future thank you god bless you i hope you have a wonderful day and as always watch your backs and check your facts